I'm your host, Logan23. You're joining me for Calendar Girl Chapter 1. Default name. I uh, like the long red hair. My style is great. Let's go. True love doesn't exist. For years, I thought it did. As a matter of fact, I thought I found it. Four times, to be exact. One, the high school sweetheart with the muscles from the steroid abuse. And a wiener the size of a circus peanut from the same steroids. Two, the teacher's assistant in college. Thank goodness I always made him wrap it before sticking it in. He was sticking it in multiple women and got several of them pregnant. Three, the salesman I met while waiting tables at the casino here in Vegas. Well, he was a salesman. He was actually a card counter, and when he got caught, he skipped town. The fourth one was the final straw that broke the camel's back. Blaine, another Vegas businessman, except this one was a loan shark. He promised me the world and delivered hell. If I had realized what he was, I would have brought him home to meet Dad. I wouldn't have meet, brought him. Not with Dad's gambling problem. Why do I have a horrible feeling he's the reason Maddie called me to come to the hospital? Mia, thank God I'm so scared. I'm here. What happened? I like the jazz tune. The car. Did you crash the car? But you look fine. Not me. It was Dad. He... Maddie, what's going on? Oh, whew. you found Mia. What happened to the car, Maddie? I don't know. It was in the driveway, wrecked, and Dad was inside it. He... He... Oh, Mia. He was all smashed up, too. Your 19-year-old baby sister hugs you and buries her nose into your hair. I need to know how bad it is. Is Dad gonna die? Is there anything I can do? If Maddie gets even more upset, though, I'll be putting out two fires instead of one. But the sooner I find out, the better. Maybe I could get the right doctor or something. I'm gonna ask Janelle. Hmm. Later, so it doesn't upset her sister. Maddie, honey, can you get Janelle and me something to drink? Janelle puts her arm around Maddie and walks around. My best friend has always been as much of a mother to Madison as I have. You yank over the curtain around your dad's bed. Hey, if you're not New York. Oh no, Daddy. What have you done? He got his ass whooped because probably his gambling. Your phone buzzes. Oh, it's your ex. Hey, baby. Did you get my message? Did my low-life ex-boyfriend just refer to beating my dad half to death as a message? I'm gonna kill him. Wait, if I get mad, he could take it out on Maddie. Then again, he's a coward. Standing up to him might pay off in the long run. I don't even know what dad owes him yet. I think I'll... Hmm, pretend to be scared, go on the offensive, play dumb. Play dumb. What message? If you text me... Yeah, like I'm gonna send you a text message. You can show the cops. What was it then? Left it outside your house. Hey, I hate to change the subject, but you're looking super hot these days. So he knows. How do you... Oh, you scumbag. Just as you feared, Landis Blaine is standing right there. Hey, baby. Get out of here or I'll call security. You wouldn't dare. Try me. What's going on? What's he doing here? Blaine flashes Maddie and Janelle a creepy smile. I'm about to go L.A. far away from Blaine. But Dad, Madison, and Janelle will still be here. At Blaine's mercy. Your dad has an outstanding balance with my firm. I've been patient for an account on an account of how much I liked screwing his daughter. Unfortunately, the account is past due. How much? A million dollars. What? Where is he going to get a million dollars? I don't know. And I don't give a damn. Now it's your problem. You're so damn smart. Figure it out. Or what? Just think of it as a family debt. Can I repay it by beating the crap out of your face? 
I can't stand this. I just want to punch the smirk right off his face. Oh god, I can't let him hurt my family, though. So, I shouldn't provoke him. But I can't show weakness like the dogs. Like with the dogs. He's the worst kind of animal. I've got a... Mm. Give it unpromised to Ben. You win. I'll find the money. I always win. But I'll tell you what, sweetheart. What a sweetheart I am. I'll let you pay on an installment plan. I might even give you a discount if you pay personally. Know what I mean? He slithers out the door with a wink at Janelle and Maddie. You sip the iced coffee they brought. It helps you calm down. Hey, Jen. Could Manny and I stay at your place tonight? Like you have to ask. Just don't get any of your skank on my couch. I'm not sitting there. Anyway, I know where you've been. You two are so gross. No, that's just how friends joke nowadays. That night after Maddie falls asleep in your best friend's bed, you can vent. What am I going to do, Jen? I've been trying to not freak out all day. Mia, take the job with your auntie. Ugh. Look, I know you've always been in love with love. Not anymore. Blaine was the final straw, remember? Okay, I know. So, no to love. You like sex, though, don't you? I mean, as an escort, all you have to do is look pretty and have a lot of sex, right? You haven't been late in months. Might as well enjoy the ride, eh? <laughs> God damn it, the pun. Only my BFF would make being a highly paid call girl sound like a dream job. I don't really know what I think about it, to be honest. I guess I'm... Hmm. Scared, ashamed, amused. <sighs> I mean... Hmm. I'm gonna go with scared. Because being a person like that can get scary with certain guys, where they get overly attached. What kind of guy hires an escort? If he can't get on a date on his own, he's either gross or awful. I take offense to that. <laughs> and then, if he's not awful, and I'm willing to do the deed, he's gonna expect... sex. He's going to expect sex. A sex expert. And I'm not an expert. I'm... an enthusiast. And didn't your aunt say that sex was optional? Oh crap, I'm late for my costume call. People call, come from all over the world to see her perform. If I had Jen's confidence, I'd dance at Dainty Doll's burlesque show, too. I've got nothing you don't have. It's all in how you're shaking. Sometimes she can raid your mind. Go on, shake it like the hussy you are. It takes one to know one. The next morning, after hugs and tears, you catch a flight to Los Angeles. You blow off your audition and go to Aunt Millie's office instead. Mia, my sweet baby girl. Do you have a million dollars, Auntie? Auntie, it's good to see you. Here, you will call me Miss Milan. Miss Milan? When her sister decided to stop being my mother, Aunt Millie stepped in. She's going to save my life. Maybe she's got a point. I'm going to need to remember where I'm from during all of this, though. I'm going to do what she says. Call her Aunt Millie. Ah, fine. You've got it, Miss Milan. You're the boss. That is exactly right, dollface. But don't get too pissy if I slap. Anyway, got any advice on social graces? If I were your mother, you'd have better posture. But what could I do? Starting with you at ten? It was too late. Like a striking snake, she... Smacks her under your chin. Chin up! Another whack this time to smack of your back. Smaller back. Stand up straight! She walks around you as if you're a horse she might buy. She nods. Well, you're definitely gorgeous. More so once we doll you up and take your test shots. Wait, slow down. I haven't agreed to anything yet. Did you not say you needed a lot of money fast? Something about my no-good brother-in-law being in the hospital? Yeah, 
Dad got himself in a big time with Blaine. He's in a coma. Got a bunch of broken bones. If you don't pay the debt, they're going to kill him. Then come after you and Maddie. I need a million dollars. Will the Savage accept payments? Well, yes. I didn't even have to beg. Although he did like me down on my knees. Keep your sexcapades to yourself, Dollface. Now, about paying off the debt. You can do it in a year. Looks like we'll just have to put you to work right away. I mean, she's going to be a professional escort. She's fairly attractive. I could see it. Hell, people get paid like fifteen to $50,000 for an Instagram post. It's just really ludicrous. And then there's me. No shot. No shot in hell. I'm not a woman. And sex sells. Top dollar monthly accounts only. We start now. Millie's words remind you of a life raft. It's out in open water, surrounded by sharks, but still afloat. I guess I'll do it. Of course you will. You love your dad. He raised you and Maddie on his own. Do you have any questions before we get you ready? I need to know what's involved in getting me ready to work for you. Nothing, really. Just making you perfect. Oh, is that all? With you and your sloppy clothes and no makeup, it's quite a lot. I think she looks fairly attractive for no makeup. And her clothes are just fine. We've got to get you waxed and buff smooth, made over and made up. Now, I can't officially make you get one, but I strongly make a, recommend a makeover. I'm going to say... I think she looks great, but... <sighs> Let's see what the makeover does. Please don't screw our character up. Wise choice, dear. Now, overall look... Natural. Eyebrows... I don't know, I'm not a woman! Pluck, wax, thread. Pluck. Teeth. Cleaning. Bodily hair. Ah, uh, sugaring. Is that kind of like where they do waxing, but they, they do it and they leave a little? If so, eh, I mean, I'm fine with... We're not going to have this discussion, actually. Waxing. <laughs> Bikini line, landing strip, Brazilian, Hawaiian. You women are so fucking complicated. Holy shit. This is why I'm alone. God damn, I don't know what this is. Landing strip, Brazilian, Hollywood. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, Brazilian. Manicure and pedicure? Basic. Nail polish. Bold. Next few hours are a whirlwind of activity. You're prodded at, scrubbed, plucked, waxed uh, within an inch of your life. I feel like a human pin cushion after multiple fashion fittings. You pose and stretch and drape yourself over furniture for your photo shoot. The result, though... I can't believe this is me. Oh. That's a new her. Hmm. I'd rather go with a black dress, but okay, lavender's okay. Um, the hair still stayed the same. I like the dark silhouettes of the eyes, because I'm an eye guy. Um, yeah, okay, I'll accept it. I can. I always knew you'd be perfect for modeling. These pictures are astounding. You look so much like... whatever. You don't want to hear how much you look like your mother. What's next? I will choose the best and highest paying clients for the coming year. We'll book you one per month until your debts are paid off. For the first assignment, I have someone special in mind. Want to see? Game on. Aunt Millie pulls up a photo on her tablet and holds it up to you. Thor? <laughs> I feel... Why is this a diamond option? Disappointed. He's okay, dime a dozen in L.A., but probably impressive anywhere else. And Dollface, you're ridiculous. He's turned down modeling jobs, for heaven's sake. All right, he's objectively good-looking, I guess. I've seen better. I don't get it, though. Like, why would someone like him need to pay for a date? 
he chose you. I personally sent the first few test shots over to him and his mother. I work a lot with her. Anyway, he read to the match. Wait, his mother? Okay. He's in the area, but you still have to stay at his residence for the next month. You are now a paid employee of Exquisite Escorts. Welcome aboard. Your assignments will run from a day to month, depending on the client's needs. Since you have to make a lot of cash in a short amount of time, you'll take the bigger jobs. After 24 hours, you'll have the rest of the month to relax and attend to your beauty needs. At the turn of each month on the calendar, you'll get a new client. I can't believe this. My life as I know it is over. No more going on on normal dates. Not that I had any recently. No more auditions. My fledging acting career is doomed. And practically no time to see Dad, Maddie, or Janelle. Believe it, little girl. This is not a joke. You're lucky I'm even making room for you. Don't be an ingrate. I'm sorry, I, I just need to think for a second. Good idea. Do you suppose you won't be doing any acting? You're right. What better way to perfect my acting than by being whatever these men want me to be? Every month I'll be someone else, and Dad and Maddie will be safe. Now you're thinking clearly. Besides, I'm not going to fall in love with them. All right, Aunt Millie. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Miss Milan. Miss Milan. <sighs> Miss Milan, looks like I'm your new calendar girl. Hmm, interesting. What do you guys think? As we're diving into this. This is something, um... This is going to be new for me. This is going to be completely new. Um, I say that... Because I'm more reserved. Um... As everyone who's watched my content knows, I'm a virgin. I take pride in that. Um, because I was waiting for Mrs. Wright, I thought I had found Mrs. Wright. Unfortunately, life had other um, decisions for that. Um, she would have probably been the first and maybe the only one. That's how I felt strongly about her and, and her and I. Um, unfortunately, like I said, life had other things. So with that being said, I'm still looking for Mrs. Wright. Um... Okay, here you go. Here's a puzzle piece about myself. Oh, I have a very vivid imagination. Oh, I have thoughts. Oh, there is a beast in a cage. The thing is, it's a keyword in a cage. I'm... I was raised in a Christian household. Um, I've studied all religions, and again, I'm waiting for Mrs. Wright. So I'm more, quote-unquote, conservative, and that means... Um, I would say probably, if I, if I ever do lose it, um, I'm gonna be a freak. Um... <laughs> So, with that being said, this is something new because, in a way, um, I like mystery women. I like women who don't flaunt everything they have from the get-go, from your first impression. Here's my boobs, here's my ass, here's everything about me. Um, I'm someone who likes a little bit of mystery. I'm someone who likes a little bit of, you know, if you understand me, let me know in the comment section below. Um, other than that, sorry about being a little bit late on this. Um, last night I felt very ill. Um, and that's a story for another time, but, uh, basically I got some sleep. I went out this morning, got some fresh air, kind of meditated, came back, and here, let's begin the day. Um, stop dinging. Jesus, leave me alone. Um, it's other apps that I play that is kind of annoying. Pretty much go away. Um, so with that being said, I hope y'all did enjoy the video. Stay tuned for the other eight chapters. Also keep in mind, Court of the Nightfall was up, um, and the finale for The Silent Twin, which really great book, by the way. Um, also they changed the cover for Kiss, and Mermaids and Vampires Who Love Them is postponed until next week, um, because they wanted to get these two new books out. So without further ado, thank y'all for watching, and I'll, hit, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.